Hello students, welcome to our first lesson and let's begin from the alphabet. You can see on the slide alphavit, it means alphabet in Russian. So in Russian alphabet we have 33 letters and today we will know how to read them and pronounce. So we divide our Russian alphabet in four groups. And the first group I call friends because it is written and sounds exactly like in English language. Let's start from the A letter. A. Here's transcription A. And we read it as in the word father. A. Here is Russian word. Let's also read it. A. Tom. These all letters read like in Russian. Atom. Atom. It was A. The next is K. K. Sound K. As in the word cat. K. Also this word. K. T. O. Kto. The translation is who. Kto. Who. It was K. The next letter is M, M, the sound M, as in the word mother, also Russian word, mama, you always know, mama, you now know M, A, mama, mama, mother, mother, mama, mother. Now we know M, next is O. O, like in the bottle, bottle. Tom, it can be the name of some boy, yes? Tom, T-O-M, Tom, very good. Now we know O letter. The next is T, T, sound T, as in the word train, train. T-A-M. Tam. It translates like there, there. Tam, tam, there. We can ask, кто там? Who is there? Кто там? Who is there? Кто там? And we can answer, мама, mother. Who is there? Mother. Кто там? Мама. Great. Let's move. And here is the topic. Knock, knock. Who is there? Knock, knock. In Russian it is tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. Like we're knocking at the door. Let's read. I will give you 30 seconds to read by yourself. K T O T A M. Kto tam? You see this question. Кто там? Who is there? The answer. Ты, о, м. Том. Том. Кто там? Том. This word means hello. It is a polite form of hello. I will read it for now, but you will need to learn it. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Here is the transcription. Здравствуйте. Hello. Здравствуйте, Tom. Hello, Tom. So we have one dialogue. Кто там? Tom. Здравствуйте, Tom. The next dialogue. Тук-тук. Knock-knock. Кто там? Read, please, this question. Кто там? Ма, 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 ма. Привет. It is hello or hi, which we use in informal situation with our friends, with our relatives, people that we know well. Привет, мама. Hi, мама. Hi, mother. So we need to remember these two words. Здравствуйте. 
Здравствуйте. Repeat with me. Здравствуйте. 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 Hello. It is for formal situation. We use with, with our colleagues, with our teachers. We use здравствуйте with people where we need formal situation. Привет. Привет. It is hi. We use it with our friends and people who we know well. Привет is informal situation. We can move. Group number two. I call it false friends. Do you know why? Try to guess. Yes, it's false friends because they look like in the English alphabet, but the sound is different. Let's know why. The first letter is called V. v. You're biting your lips. V. V. As in the vet. Bet. You can read this one. I will help. V. A. It is R. R. r Russian R. B. A. R. Varvar. Warrior. Yes. Varvar. Varvar. Warrior. Good. Remember that this means not B. It is V. V. Varvar. This is sound Ye. Ye. As in the word yes. For example, this word. Нет. Н, Е, Т. Нет. No. No. Нет. Нет. Mm -hmm. And so this is not H, not the sound H. It is sound N, N, as in the never, never. And we can read this word. You already know these both letters. O, N, On, On, He, On, He, On. Great. And this is R. R, not this soft English R, R, but it is R, like a lion or a tiger, R, R, as in the error, but with the Russian pronunciation, R, error. So here you can read, it is S, T, A, R, T, start. Can you guess what does it mean? Very difficult, yes. <laughs> the English word, the same in Russian. Start, 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 start. Strong, strong, Russian, r. The next is s, s. Most students are struggling with this. S, as in sit. Let's read s. T, U, Sto, D, E, N, Den, Studen, T, Student, Student, A student, Student, A student, Student, A student. Very good. Let's go. This is U, U. U, as in wood. And this is Russian word. K, A, K, T, U, S. Cactus. Cactus. Write in the comments what does it mean. Cactus. Cactus. Your home task is to translate this very difficult for English speaking person word. I'm joking. Cactus. Oh, you know how to read in Russian already. And this strange letter <laughs> that is not X, this is H, H sound. <laughs> like some cat is angry. <laughs> or in Scottish, loch, loch, H. And here is Russian word H, A, O S house, house. 
So I've chosen the words that are similar to English to be easily remembered by you. House, house. Very nice, let's repeat. V, ye, n, r, s, u, h. One more time, because it's important not to be mistaken with these letters. V, ye, n, r, s, u, h. Let's move. And the next group is new friends, group number three. Let's learn new letters. And the first new letter for you, it is B, B, as in bet, the Russian word, bank, bank. Can you guess how to translate it to English, bank? Yes, it's a bank, bank, very easy. Nothing difficult. The next letter, G, G, as in get. Globus, globus. G, L, O, B, U, S. Globus, the globe, globus. Next, D, D, looks like here, and but sounds like here, D. Is in depth. The Russian word data, data, the date, data. Mm, хорошо, good. The next letter that is similar to the letter Е, as you remember, Е without dots, but with dots it is Ё, like rapper, Ё, 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 or is in the yonder. Let's read this word. Likor. 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 You can write the transcription into your notebooks. The next letter is Z. Z, as in Zul. Zul. The Russian word. Let's read. Z, O, M, Zom, B, I, B. Zombie, zombie, zombies, yes. The next is E, E letter, as in eel. Let's read the Russian word. Rhythm, rhythm, r i t m, rhythm. It's rhyme, rhyme in the songs, yes. Rhythm. Very good. Let's move. And here is the letter which is called, it is E short. This sign is short, E short. Sounds like E, E, like in boy, boy. The Russian word E yoga, yoga, yoga. Can you guess what does it mean? Of course, yoga. <laughs> Very easy. We have lots of Similar words in Russian. Yoga. Let's repeat. B, G, D, Y, Z, E, E short. One more time repeating. B, G, D, Y, Z, E, E short. E. Yes? Let's move. New friends, we are continuing with them. This you already saw. It is L, L, as in people, people. Okay, the Russian word is L, A, M, P, A. This is P. Lampa, Lampa. Can you guess? Lampa, what does it mean? Lampa. It's similar, Lampa. Lamp. Yes, it is lamp. Let's move. This is P. P. As in pet. P. Let's read the word. Poza. Poza. P. O. Z. A. Poza. A pose. Like Madonna songs. Strike pose. Strike a pose. Poza in Russian. The next letter is. 
F, F. I also bite my lip. F, F. As in fat. Here's a rational word. Fact. Fact. It's a fact in English. F, A, K, T. Fact. 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 Very similar. And here are my favorite Russian vowels that you need to remember. First is E, E, as in fat. Let's read the Russian word. D, U, E, T. Duet. Duet. Write the translation, please, of this word. You can guess. Very similar to English. Duet. Duet. Let's move. This vowel is U, like you are, you, or in the universe, you. Russian word, humor, humor, to humor, 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 humor. <laughs> also similar, you see? The next vowel is ya. Ya, it means myself in Russian. Yeah. So this letter is a word already. Yeah. It's me. Yeah. Me. Yeah. In the yak. English word yak. And here is Russian. Ya. H. T. A. Can you read this word? Yachta. Yachta. Very good. Let's repeat. L. P, F, E, U, Ya. Repeat with me, please. One more time. L, P, F, E, U, Ya. Great. Moving on. And here is the topic. Hello, what is your name in Russian? Now we will need to read the dialogues. I will help you, but read with me, please. First dialogue is on the left. P, R, I, V, E, T. Try to read it by yourself. Pri, Viet. Pri, Viet. Yes, you already know this word. It means hi for informal situation. Pri, Viet. The answer. Привет. Hi. Let's move on reading. М, Е, Н, Я. Меня. З, О, В, У, Т. Зовут. Зовут. So this phrase together. Меня зовут. Меня зовут. Translates to English like my name is. So, меня, my, зовут, name is. Меня зовут, my name is. And here you can put your name. For example, меня зовут Анастасия. My name is Anastasia. Now, please, do your own sentence about your name. Меня зовут... Repeat, please. Меня зовут. Great. But here we have a girl's name. М, А, Р, И, Н, А. Ма, Ри, На. Марина. Let's read all together. Меня зовут Марина. My name is Marina. And here is her question. А как тебя, тебя, this is B, small one, тебя, З, О, В, У, Т, зовут. А как тебя зовут? Try to guess how to translate this question. А как тебя зовут? Как тебя зовут? And what is your name? 
Yes. And what is your name? And what your name? And what is your name? А как тебя зовут? The answer. М, Е, Н, Я. Меня. Again, this word. З, У, В, У, Т. Зовут. Меня зовут. М, А, Ма, Мак, Макси, Максим. Меня зовут Максим. So this dialect we use in informal situation. Yes, we use the construction. Как тебя зовут? What is your name? Как тебя зовут? And the answer. Меня зовут plus your name. You see, меня зовут plus your name. Please make notes of this. Как тебя зовут? The question. What is your name? Как тебя зовут? The answer. Меня зовут plus your name. Only your name. Меня зовут Анастасия. Or you can use... A short form of your name. My short form is Nastya. So I can say Меня зовут Nastya. Very good. So we know phrases. Привет. Hi. Меня зовут. My name is. The question. Как тебя зовут? What is your name? Moving to formal situation. For example, we meet our colleague at the new work. We don't know her well, so we need to be polite. These strange and scary words, <laughs> lots of my students are scared of it. I don't know why, because all letters we learn, but it always scares them. <laughs> Let's try not to be scared. Let's read in letters. I know it's difficult. But we need to do it. Z, D, R, A. Zdra, Zdra. Second part. V, S, T. V, S, T. Difficult, I know. Zdravst, Zdravst. This part. Zdravst, Zdrast. Zdrast. Mm hmm. I don't pronounce this V. We Russians do it to be more comfortable in pronouncing this word. So we say ZDRAS, ZDRAS, T. And the second part V, U, VUY, VUY, T. ZDRAS, DUY, T. Let's repeat one more time. ZDRAS, DUY, T. Repeat the first one. Zdra. Zdra. Repeat second part. Stvuj. 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 And the third. Tje. 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 And all together. Zdra stvuj tje. Zdra stvuj tje. You will, you will do it, I know. Zdra stvuj tje. So it is hello, hello in polite form. Здравствуйте, the answer. Здравствуйте, hello, hello. Меня зовут, you know already this phrase, my name is. Меня зовут, Марина, this name you all also, all, this name you also know. Меня зовут, Марина. But here we have second part of the name. Do you know what is it? It is patronymics. Tell me, do you have patronymics in your country or in your culture, in your passport? Because I have, because I live in Russia. Patronymics, it is your father's name. Later we will learn how to make patronymics uh, of your father's name. But now we just need to read it. V, L, A, Vla, D, I, Vladi, Vladimir, Vladimir, Rov, Vladimirov, Na, Vladimirovna, Vla, 
Ди ми ров на Владимировна. So, меня зовут Марина Владимировна. It is polite form when you use your name plus your patronymics. Марина Владимировна. А как вас, вас зовут? So, the, the same phrase is А как тебя зовут? What is your name? But here in polite form of the question, we need to use вас instead of тебя. А как вас зовут? And what is your name? The translation is the same, but the meaning in Russian for Russians is different. So we need to learn it attentively. А как вас зовут? And what is your name? Let's read the answer. А меня, а меня, Максим, Максим, Иванович, Иванович, а меня Максим Иванович. So Максим Иванович. So Максим, his name. Ivanovich patronymics. This dialogue we use in formal situation. So please write down into your notebook this situation. The question Как вас зовут? Polite form. What is your name? Как вас зовут? Which we use with our colleagues, teachers. And the answer Меня зовут. Plus your name and your patronymics and your patronymics меня зовут анастасия сергеевна сергеевна it is my patronymics меня зовут анастасия сергеевна so your home task is also to make this dialogue with one of your friends now let's move the next group number four strangers Le letters that scares also students sometimes not all <laughs> maybe you will be the bravest students first is the strange z, z, as in measure measure so we have two words as examples here first is jazz Jazz. Can you guess what does it mean? Jazz. Jazz. Music, of course. And here is the word. This is name. And here is Russian female name. Janna. Janna. So this was Z. Now we're moving to C. C. As in sits. Ц. Here is the word Ц и Р К. Цирк. Цирк. And it translates like circus. Circus. Цирк. Circus. Let's move to Ч. Ч. As in church. Church. And Russian is read, please. Чай. Great. Чай. It is tea in Russian. Чай. Tea. The next letter is ш. Ш. As in shut. In Russian word ш о к. Шок. <laughs> I think you know English meaning of this word. Shock. Shock. Great. Let's move to ш. Ши, as in sheep. Russian word ши и ши ши. It is Russian dish, traditional one. It is soup made from cabbage. Ши. And the last is vowel here, and it is и. I even don't know how to write translation, and all teachers of Russian does know how to write transcription of this. Um, Letter, but it is e, 
e like e but with the tongue tip further back e e musica musica music mu z ka mu z ka music great let's repeat z c ch sh sh e repeat one more time with me z c ch sh sh e great the topic is pleased to meet you pleased to meet you again the dialogue some words you already know Здравствуйте. Hello. So you also so you can see that it is polite dialogue. Здравствуйте. Как вас зовут? You see polite form. Здравствуйте. Как вас зовут? Как вас зовут? Hello. What is your name? What is your name? Как вас зовут? The answer. Здравствуйте. Меня. Меня зовут Анна. Анна. Here girl doesn't use her patronymics. So we can guess maybe she's small little girl talking to her teacher. Меня зовут Анна. А как вас зовут? Меня зовут Анна. А как вас зовут? Translate it, please. I will give you 30 seconds for it. Yes, my name is Anna. And what is your name? Great. Excellent. The answer. Меня... Меня зовут. Меня зовут. Again this phrase. My name is Иван. Иван. Name. Иван. Пет. Пет. Ро. Петро. В. И. Ч. Вич. Петрович. Меня зовут Иван Петрович. Ivan Petrovich. So Petrovich is his patronymics. Ivan Petrovich. Очень, очень приятно. Let's read in letters. O, ч, е, н. Here is soft sign. We will learn it. Очень. So this sign makes the letter n softer. Очень. Very. Очень. П, Р, И, Я, Т, Н, О. Приятно. Приятно. This phrase очень приятно. Очень приятно. Is translated as please to meet you. Please to meet you. Очень приятно. Repeat with me. Очень приятно. And the answer. For this phrase is m n e mnie mnie t o z e тоже мне тоже please to meet you too мне тоже me too or please to meet you too and here is what I talked about pronunciation symbols and the first symbol is hard sign. So it indicates a slight pause between syllables. For example, this Russian word ob, ob, little pause, yekt, yekt, object, object. It is object in English, object. And the another is a soft sign. Yes, you already know it. It makes the previous letter soft, as in here, c, 
a r. But we add this soft sign and it becomes tar. You see? Tar. R. Like soft. R. Not r. 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 Try. R. R. Tsar. Tsar, it is a Russian czar. You see this picture. Czar. Tsar. Tsar. Great. So soft sign and hard sign. Hard. Ob. Yekt, little pause, and soft. Tsar, tsar, soft letters. And the next task is reading for you, by your own self. Please, I will give you for 10 seconds for each word. Just read it and think about the translation. Let's start with the first one. Read. Bar. Were you right? Bar. Check yourself. Bar. It's a bar. Yes, in restaurant, hotel, cafe. Bar. But it's Russian. Bar. Bar. The next word, second. Read. Stop. Stop. As a stop sign. Yes, stop. Stop. Number three. Read. Pravda. Pravda. It is the truth. Pravda. Number four. Read. Taxi. Taxi. It's a taxi. Number five. New York, New York. It's a city, New York. New York. Mm -hmm. Number six, read please. Beatles, Beatles, music band, Beatles. Number seven. Los Angeles. Los Angeles, the city, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, and the last one, number eight, Moscow. Great! My congratulations, you finished the first lesson of Russian language. Now you are able to read in Russian. You also know some phrases and words, and you already can make a small talk dialogue. I will also leave for you home task, so please check it. And see you at the next lesson. Bye! Thank you for your time!